Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back to film a plan with me. I'm going to be planning today for the week of December the 14th until the 20th, which is actually last week. Um, I typically am pretty good about staying on the week or posting on the week that I'm planning for but to be honest I actually didn't end up memory planning for last week because it was a pretty hectic day all in all as you guys know I have been filming vlogmas videos throughout the whole month of December and I believe we went to eat some brunch and have mimosas and I honestly didn't even have time to film this video so I'm going to of course be back planning for this past week which although it's not Christmas week that video should be coming up pretty soon as well. I'm gonna try to get back on track because I really don't want to get to the point of falling behind so much that I can never catch up. But I am going to be using a kit from my shop today, which I'm very excited about. This was my Letters to Santa kit, which I ended up printing on premium matte paper. And I really loved doing so, I believe when I planned with my cozy Christmas kit. So I decided to do the same for both this one as well as for my New Year's kit. But yeah, this is how the full boxes look for this kit. Very cute and appropriate to what I was doing this week, which is just working on orders, as you guys know. I pretty much work on orders every single day of the week. But like I mentioned, these are the full boxes. This is what I call your glitter boxes, which comes with your half boxes, quarter boxes, um, sidebar pieces, and some glitter headers. Then you have your functional page, which I really love that there's a lot of different colors in this Christmas kit that goes really well with all of the full boxes. And it wasn't too much red nor too much pink, but I like it a lot. And then this is my, um, my bottom washi page with date covers. Since this kit, I have changed up a couple of things for the kits that I released for the new year. So I believe I changed out the date covers to a more fitting font for me and what I like. As well as I now offer foiled kits, which I'm very excited to start using those, like I mentioned in the beginning of the year. But aside from this kit from my shop, I also do have these bow headers that I purchased, I believe, last year from a random collection from Paper Muse Crafts. But after looking through all of my stickers, I realized that these actually go pretty well together, especially like this blue and this pink. So I think I'm either going to use all the pink or the blue. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I really loved all of these. I definitely wanted to go ahead and use them since I've had them for so long. So that's what I'm going to be using for this week. I'm going to go ahead and start with my base. I'm going to lay down my bottom washi, date covers, bow headers this time, and then I'll be right back to set up my sidebar. Chilling and having a good, good time And I think I might have just been too into the zone Too in the zone that Completely forgot that I have to Actually talk for this part, but I'm just gonna go ahead and White out all those places at the bottom And see. I still haven't chosen my full boxes, but I feel like I really want to put this one. I think I want to do this one too. So this one I'll do on Sundays since it's, since it's kind of similar to the bottom washi in a way. So let's do the mailbox with the stamps up on top. Let's see. And that was a little too to the right, but that's okay. So for the sidebar, I think I'm going to use the red glitter since the two boxes here are different shades. So 
So let me start off with a habit tracker. I'm going to do this pink one. So then I think I'm gonna do my weekly ombre. As always for my YouTube videos, I know in last week's plan with me, what was it? No, it was two plan with me's ago, but two plan with me's ago, I went ahead and pretty much wrote every single time I uploaded a vlogmas video on the actual weekly section. But so yeah, like I mentioned, I was putting all of my vlogmas videos up here, but I actually have been kind of bad with regular videos aside from vlogmas. So I'm just going to mark them in that weekly box. And then we'll do the ombre checklist right here. Which I don't know if you guys can tell that my side where it's kind of going crooked, but that is okay. And I don't know why. I think it might be that this planner's really chunky, um, but my pages keep like sliding this way. Now I think I'm just going to finish it off with our little sideboard washi. I think, yeah, that, that should be enough. So let's just put those here. And then I do have the leftover washi overlay from SPC here that I used for this side. So I'm just going to put it on top of both of these. Like so. And I'm done with that, which feels great. Toss that out. And now I'm not 100% sure what habit I've been tracking, but I'm pretty sure I'll write that in right after I finish this video. All right, friends. So I took quite a long break because I wasn't feeling too good. Um, but I did something different this time around. And I decided to peel up all of the stickers that I was going to use for the week for everything that I want to mark in every single day and kind of just put them in my um, reusable sticker book. I know a lot of people do this and I kind of wanted to try it out. So that's how I'm going to go about things today. I don't know if I'm going to remember every single thing, but we will see. And if I like it, I don't know, I might end up doing this every single plan with me. I mean, maybe you guys do, but if you if you guys do film videos, like plan with me videos, do you go about like pulling them prior to you filming the video or do you just like to pull the stickers as you're going day by day? Because that's what I've done all the time, but it does take quite a bit of time. So I thought that this could shorten the amount of footage that I have to edit, I guess. So we'll see how it goes. So the first thing on Monday, of course, is I'm going to mark... It being Monday by putting this Monday sized coffee to go girl. Then I believe I want to mark that I had to buy a couple materials for the shop. So I'm going to just be using this here with this cute little laptop from Fox and Pip as well. I believe I had to buy sticker paper as well as um, flat and bubble mailers. So I'm just going to put buy materials here. I think I'm going to do one of these check boxes. Like so. Okay, so that's going to be for buying materials. Then something that I am actually going to do that I typically do anyways is put my dinners at the bottom. So I'm going to be using these fancy labels as well as these right here. Typically, I only like to mark um, my dinners from Monday to Thursday. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to use some icons, some meal icons from SPC to mark my dinners. Which I just realized that I, these are the only ones that I have left. So I definitely have to pick some more up. Let's 
So on Monday, I had Chick-fil-A. On Tuesday, we had chicken fajitas. On Wednesday, we had shrimp alfredo, which I'm actually dreaming about that dinner we had because it was really good. So maybe I'll make it sometime soon again. So shrimp alfredo, then on Thursday, I believe this was the day we had um, the tilapia. So I'm just gonna mark it here. And then Friday we had canes, but I have kind of a bigger sticker for that. So I'm just not gonna mark it down here like I, I typically do. I believe we had it with rice and green beans. So I'm just gonna put tilapia and veggies. Like so. Okay, so those were all of my dinners. Now I can go ahead and come back to Monday. I also had to do laundry this day, so I'm going to use one of these. I'm going to use a red one. I'm going to use like smaller litter boxes to mark doing laundry. I'm washing my clothes. This icon is for my shop. Wash clothes. With one of these check boxes. Perfect. Okay. After this, I had what do we do? Oh, we went grocery shopping. I designed and we watched, I believe, How I Met Your Mother. Yes, How I Met Your Mother. So for grocery shopping, I'm gonna use I think a bigger box for that. Yeah, I'm gonna use one of these. Let's do this one for grocery shopping. Mm, I think I might have like a grocery run script. Yeah, so I have this um, like script sampler, which I might just end up cutting. So I'm just going to cut that and just lay, kind of layer it right there. That's cute. Okay, so we went on a grocery run. Then like I mentioned, I designed, so I'm going to grab this cute little munchkin, pretty much laying down on its bed on the computer, and that's pretty much me when I design in bed. So let's do... Do this pink one, this pink appointment box to mark that right here. And then I do have a design script also from this PC, which goes perfectly there. And then last but not least, like I mentioned, I'm going to mark watching How I Met Your Mother this day so I'm just going to use this glitter half box with these cute little couple munchkin watching TV. Cute. And then I'm just going to write How I Met Your Mother. I believe that now I have watched more episodes than I've ever scene from How I Met Your Mother. So I'm all caught up where to where I was and then past that. So I'm watching things that I, I had never seen before, which is really nice um, because I really like this show a lot. So let's see, How I Met Your Mother. Okay, so that is it for Monday. This actually went by so quickly and I love peeling up stickers. Wow. The only thing is that, that the whole process of peeling up the stickers does take the same amount of time. I think it's just that looking for them as I'm filming this and as the camera's rolling is what takes the longest for me to edit after I film it, if that makes sense, which doesn't really change anything for you guys. It's mainly for me and for editing Romina. <laughs> And we're back. I actually went to get my nails done. Do you guys like them? They have cute little snowflakes. I don't know if you guys can see them um, to match my January 
budget kits, but we had left off on Monday, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to Tuesday. Tuesday the 15th, and I'm sorry if it was a little blurry, but the first thing that I'm gonna mark is payday. So let me actually wait this little thing out. I'll take a payday sticker from SPC and one of these withdrawal icons for my shop. So let me actually put the withdrawal icon and then the payday script. And I believe I've been doing this for a couple of weeks now, I wanna say. So that looks really cute up there. Then I did reply back to emails. So for replying back to emails, I think I'm gonna use a smaller kind of label. I'm kinda of gonna do this one. So I'll put the emails right here. Did my mom work this day? Yes. So, okay, so I'll put this one for emails with one of these icons from CD stickers. Then, what did I mention? My mom came to work, which I actually have not been marking, which I definitely should. So I think for my mom working, I'm gonna mark that with these labels in my washi page. And she came over on the 10th, on the 10th, on the 15th at 10. Then she came over on Wednesday. She typically starts at 10, so that's why I'm putting it here. So let me just go through all of my days. For Tuesday, since we did foil quite a bit of things, I'm taking this little mink foiling machine from Crafts by Tally. And to mark that on Wednesday, I'm taking one of these printers also from Crafts by Tally. And then let me just mark my mom working on Thursday as well. Like so. And for Thursday, I'm going to use one of these sticker cutters. They look like silhouettes. They're really cute to mark that. And then I believe, yeah, my sister came to help me with orders on Saturday. So I'm just gonna mark that as well really quickly. And she came at nine. So let's just go ahead and lay this down here. And then I'm probably just gonna use another one of these printers. This is one of her old ones. All of these icons are from Crafts by Tally, like I mentioned. So let me just write. work Natalie and work mom okay. perfect so that is for all of the work sticker then let me go back to my Tuesday page I did design quite a bit this day so I'm going to go ahead and use one of these cute Fox and Pit girls on kind of a laptop with a coffee. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's really cute. And I think I'm going to use this one on. I end up using this one actually. This one's cute. So let me actually put this here. I'm pretty sure this was for both like working on orders and designing. So I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make like a little checklist here. I'm gonna do And I'm sorry if you guys can hear the train in the background. I didn't even know we could hear the train from here, but I guess we can. So I'm just gonna put Design and orders. That's very cute. Oh, I love that. Okay, so that was towards like the middle of the day. And then at night we did, me and Paul watch How the Grinch Stole Christmas. So I have the perfect cute little label for that. So I'm going to take this one right here. Maybe towards like right here. 
I have these labels from SPC. I, I can show you guys actually. I have these scripts from SPC. They're basically just holiday movies. I've been having this since last year and I'm really glad that this time around we watched quite a bit of holiday movies. I also have these cute little like girls holiday girls watching like TV with the cookies and milk on the side. So I'm going to use that even though it's kind of, everything's kind of too huge, but I'm going to make it work. I'm just going to put it right on top of her, I guess. Okay, that works. So we watched How the Grinch Stole Christmas this day, which this was probably the first time that I watched the full movie all the way through. I don't think I've ever done that before. I typically fall asleep before anything is over, so I'm pretty sure that's the reason why, but that is what I have there. And the last thing that I'm going to mark is that I FaceTimed my friend Alicia. She actually called me. I hadn't talked to her in quite some time, and it was just really nice to catch up with her. So I'm just going to mark that at the end of Tuesday with one of these FaceTime icons from the shop. And I'll just go ahead and write FaceTime Alicia. Perfect. Then moving on to Wednesday. This day was pretty much a work day. I don't think I did anything in the morning. Pretty sure I cleaned but I don't have any stickers for that, so I'm just not going to mark it, and that's just going to be buried there. We did work on orders since my mom was here quite a bit, as well as on new releases stickers, so I'm just going to use this cute little silhouette cutter from Fox and & Pip, and I think I'm going to do this one right here. So let's mark you... And I'm just going to put print and cut. Okay, print and cut. Then my mom did go to the post office, so I have these cute PO run stickers. So I'm gonna take this one here. These are from the Whimsical Cat Studio, which I actually have an order coming from her. I cannot wait to receive that. And I'm just gonna put PO run. I've been loving these little check boxes, by the way. I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but I'm trying to put them on as many places as I can. I just love checking off things. There you go, okay. And then after my PO box run, I think this might've been the day that I got my wax melts in. So I think, and then I have a Starbucks run to mark. So I think I'm gonna put the wax melts the Happy Meal up up top since I have kind of space up there. I'm going to do that with one of these appointment labels. Right there. Yeah, that works. Okay. So I have this little package box situation. I'm just going to put it up there and I'm going to put, I'm just going to put wax melt order. It's cute. And then like I mentioned, the last thing I'm going to mark is that we went on a Starbucks run. So I think... I'm going to do another one of these, like so. And for Starbucks run, I have these cute stickers. One of these are from Fox and & Pip, the little coffee cup. And then the script sticker, of course, is from SPC. That's so cute. Okay, I love that very much. So that's going to be the first half of this week. This actually went by a little faster. Obviously not as fast because I did take a break to go get my nails done. But for you guys, I'm pretty sure that kind of was very fast, which I like. I'm very happy about that. Thursday was my new releases day, so I had to do quite a bit of new releases prep. So I'm going to use one of these glitter half boxes up top to kind of mark 
me getting down to all the new releases prep which I have the cutest, <laughs> the most perfect sticker here from the Whimsical Cat. This was bas basically me. <laughs> okay, so new releases prep up top. Then what do we do? Oh, okay, so that took quite a bit of the day. My mom was here, so we worked on orders, of course. But then after, towards the night, Paul ended up making Coquito, which is a holiday drink. I believe it's Puerto Rican, and it was really good. So I'm going to mark Paul making Coquito. Mm, let's see what else do I have to mark. I'll mark it right here, even though I was towards the end of the night, but that is okay. And for that holiday drink, I actually have, I have so many like scripts um, like holiday scripts because I've been having them for quite some time and I never use them. So I'm going to use this have a holiday drink script from SPC. I believe this is our old format. And then I have this cute little, I think it's like a hot cocoa from Stick With The Plan Co. But it, it will work for having a holiday drink. So just going to plop that there. How cute is that? Okay. That's that. And then I did dye my hair, so I'm going to mark that as well with one of these. And these are my favorite dye hair stickers from, once again, the Whimsical Cat Studio. I'm running very low on those, so I am definitely waiting for my order to get here. So dye hair, very cute. And then the last thing that I'm gonna mark on Thursday is that I wrapped my sister's present. So let's go ahead and take a, a half box. Yeah, like a squared off half box. Let me do this one right here. And I wrapped my sister Ivana's present because we were gonna do a little gift exchange on Friday so for that I have the cutest and I feel like every single sticker that I've been showing you guys I'm like oh my god this is the cutest thing ever but I honestly own so many cute stickers from so many different shops that they just make me so happy to look at and to plan with but look at this beautiful girl she's holding a bunch of wrapping paper which was definitely me and she has red hair like how perfect is she she's from Fox and Pip by the way and I know I'm gonna use a wrapped gifts on Sunday but I think I want to use another script that I have because I look I have let's see let me show you guys I have two sets of holiday scripts so these are our older ones and then I have the newer ones and I don't think I'm going to use silver anymore so I think I'm just going to grab the rack gifts script just because I have them and might as well use them so So let's just do that. So that's going to be it for Thursday. Then on Friday, like I mentioned, I did have a gift exchange with my sister. So I'm going to grab, let's do this red one. At the beginning of the day. And I have these cute like friend stickers and these definitely look like me and my sister. So I want to use these and I have um, and they're eating, so it was good because we did grab Pokey right after. Did we exchange presents first or did we grab Pokey first? No, I feel like we exchanged the gifts first. So let me just put my little exchange gift script right there. <laughs> that's so cute. Okay, so that's going to be it for that. And then I did stop by the post office because I needed to pick up something from there. So let me see, do I have any more? Yeah, I have one more on my washi page. And that's going to be it for this one. I love when I use up sticker sheets. That makes me so happy. Um, I also grabbed like two donuts from Dunkin' Donuts. But since we had donuts on Saturday too, I'm just not going to mark it on Friday. But I'm going to use this little stamp for the post office run that I had. Which is kind of huge, but it's okay.
perfect. Then I went home and worked on orders, cutting stickers. So you can use one of these. What are these? I think these are like new stickers, the new sticker sheet, but this, these look perfect for like packaging orders. So let's see what I want to do. I think I want to do this one. For working on orders. Then after I was done with orders, we ended up going to Trader Joe's this day. So I have these Trader Bows bags from Fox and Pip. So I'm gonna use, I'm pretty sure, yeah, let's just use one of these red glitter boxes. Okay, just write Trader Joe's run. And then the last thing I'm gonna mark on Friday is that we grabbed canes. So for canes, I think I'm gonna use another one of these labels down here. The cane stickers that I, or actually they're not specifically for canes, but they're like fast food stickers. They, they are from Paper Shire and they're so huge, but how can I not use them? They are perfect. So let me just write canes here, like so, and that's great. Okay, I love that. And now moving on to the weekend, I just realized that I never put a full box on Sunday, so I'm just going to go through and pick one right now. I think that I said I wanted to do this one, so that's the one that I'm going to grab and lay down here. That's cute. All right, so that's gonna be that full box. And then for Saturday, like I mentioned, my sister did come over to help me. Um, we did, or Paul went to go get some Krispy Kreme holiday donuts. So I have these donut boxes that I've never used from Paper Shire, so what better day to use them? I think, let's see what I wanna do. I think I'm gonna do this appointment label, even though it's kinda huge. I think so. Okay, so let me put it here. That's so huge, oh my god. Okay. All right, so I'll just put holiday donuts there. And then I have these really cute holiday computer flat lace from Once More With Love, which I have yet to haul, but don't worry, that's coming. Um, and I just thought it'd be perfect to put right at the beginning of Saturday because that's exactly how my desk looked. Like working on orders, cutting stickers, and having some holiday donuts with my cup of coffee. So that's gonna be that. I am not sure why I have this sticker here, but I want to say that it was for post office run. So I am going to mark going to the post office with this cute little reindeer marshmallow from paper and milk. So let's do maybe one of these. What else do I have to mark? Oh, hey, I have to mark watching Toy Story 4 and baking cookies. So let's do it like right here. Then for watching Toy Story, I think, I want to say that I have some movie marquees. I feel like I always have movie marquees that I never use, so this would be their time to shine. Okay. All right, so I have these really old ones from Glam Planner, which I don't think any of these really match with the spread, like at all. <laughs> So we're not gonna be using these. <laughs> All right, so I can't find the movie marquees, which is fine. We're just gonna go ahead and use one of these labels. So let me actually do this one. Like so. 
And I have a little Woody Munchkin. And we ended up watching, like I mentioned, Toy Story 4. Which means that we're all done watching all Toy Stories on Disney+. Plus, Which is exciting, I think. Now we can move on to the next movie. And then the last thing I'm going to mark on Saturday is that I did some holiday baking. Um, oh, the script actually says bake holiday cookies, which we did with Paul's family. So that was very exciting. I think I'm going to grab... I don't know if this one or if there's like red missing. Maybe I'll do this one. I think that's a little better. So I have these Fox and Pip holiday baking girls. She's so perfect. I love her. <laughs> and then I have the Bake Holiday Cookie Script, which both of those just look perfect. I love that so much. Okay, so that's going to be it for Saturday. And then for Sunday, nothing too crazy. That's kind of like the shortest day of my week, really. But this day, we went to brunch with some friends. So I want to mark that with... I think I'm going to do it with this one. Can I with this half box? Yeah. Let's see this one for brunch. I have these like brunch stickers from One Small With Love. So I'm just going to put brunch with friends. So, and then I'm going to put one of these budget time stickers, and I think the red one would look great there, so let's just take this one, I'm thinking like, I'm not sure what happened, but I think my camera just turned off, so I hope you guys saw that, but I did lay down a budget time sticker there. And then later that day, me and Paul actually had ramen. So I'm going to grab this glitter half box. Hmm. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I wish I would have not done that red one there so that I could use both of these here. But that's just how things worked out. So that's okay. Um, I think what I'm going to do is maybe for ramen, I'll go ahead and use... this red page flag mm, yeah let's do it like right here I have these cute little like Chinese takeout stickers from stick with the plan co so I mean that kind of covers the whole thing but I think it's okay put ramen for dinner and then I will mark me wrapping presents right here at the end of Sunday so yeah I think that's going to be it for this plan with me video last but not least we're just gonna lay down my wrap gifts script but very very cute oh, I love this let me go ahead and open up my planner so you guys can get the whole view of it all right, friends, so this is how my spread ends up looking. I really love how everything turned out. I'm hoping that pulling my stickers ahead of time helped a little bit with the process of laying down the stickers and it not taking very long for me to look for every single one. But the last thing that I want to do before I go is I have these cute little stocking icon countdowns from Once More With Love that just got here in the mail. So I want to go ahead and put my little countdown. I know that the 14th would be... 11 days until Christmas so let me actually just go ahead and go through I was thinking the bottom yeah I think I'm just gonna put it at the bottom here I don't know if in the middle yeah I'll just put it here in the middle I used to do this quite a bit I remember when I started planning um, in 2016 I would put a bunch of um, once more with loves wacky holidays at the bottom of my spread so this is very, very cute and exciting to do after such a long time. So 
18th is seven days, 19th is six days, and then the 20th would be five days until Christmas. So yeah, all right. So I think that's gonna now be it for this spread. If you guys enjoyed this video as always, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel. If you guys are not subscribed already, I will be back to hopefully catch up with all of my spreads. So make sure you stay tuned for the next couple of plan with me's that will be going up on my channel. And hopefully I will get to see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.